I'm of Yaki, Choctaw, and Cherokee descent. I'm born and raised in Richmond, California. Our group is here at the EPA because the tar sands and the pipelines, the Keystone XL, the Enbridge, and the other pipelines go right through indigenous lands on sacred sites, um, decimating our historic places that we have lived on since the beginning of time here in the Americas. Keystone Pipeline is going to run down from Alberta down to the Gulf Coast and carry billions of barrels of tar sands oil to be refined and then export it overseas. is sitting down with us right now and, and talking to us. Right. And sometimes that talk takes the form of a Category 5 storm. Some, sometimes it comes in a more subtle way. But we have to be listening right now. We have to be careful. And above all, we have to be courageous. unfortunately being bought off by the corporations and the federal laws have been warped to such an extent over the last 40 years that they actually support the corporate devastation of our earth, our water, our air, and, and everything that life needs to survive on earth. It's not that they don't understand, it's that they just don't want to. Because I mean, they need to make their money somehow, and that's what they're really looking at. But they also need to look at the fact that if it's game over for the planet, you're not going to make your money later on. are the ones who will determine whether or not our grandchildren and great-grandchildren have a sustainable future. Each of us is being called upon as an individual. Each of us has certain skills. I'm a performer. Each of us needs to identify how we are powerful. Certainly in our behavior with waste, in our behavior with how energy of Earth comes through us personally, certainly we need to be raise that to another level. So speaking from my heart to anyone who is listening to this, it is time to rise up. It is time to connect your heart with the hearts of millions of other people around the world and rise up so that our future generations can have something at least close to what we've been blessed with in our lifetimes. I would love if more people watching this video came out and got involved in the uh, in the fight against the Keystone Pipeline, which is going to be going on all year. If a pipeline is approaching the community, go to the edge of your community and say no. Lay your body in the line. Say no. We're learning to say no together. Amen. There's a pledge of resistance to the Keystone Pipeline, which has been put out there. And then there's groups all over the all over the U.S. and Canada, which are like organizing and fighting this pipeline. And they should join them. There's a lot of stuff that we can do within saving our resources or raising awareness with you know things you see online about this, and just you know don't be idle, do something about it. And that's the only way that we've had real change in American society. Is pe people are willing to put their bodies on the line. There are lots of great websites you can go to. 350.org here in the Bay Area, 350bayarea.org, idlenomore.ca in Canada. Um, Gathering Tribes has a Facebook page that is constantly listing a lot of the events that are happening and news articles about the decimation of our Mother Earth and um, tarsandsblockade.org and once you get on those sites then they'll take you to other places where you can educate yourself and find out what's happening in your area and if there isn't anything happening yet in your area stand on a corner with a sign and see who comes. Well, sir.
Earth Hallelujah, amen? Somebody, Earth Hallelujah!